Dear fellow Haskellers, welcome to my tutorial on servant client in five minutes. Well, say one day you're walking down the streets on the internet and you see this beautiful web service serving some uh, juicy data, typically in a JSON format, and you want to bring that JSON data into your Haskell program to do some Haskell magic on them. Well, this is a quite common and quite trivial task, and there are so many ways to do it. I'm going to show you how to use the servant client library to achieve this because I think uh, there are so there are not many examples of how to use this library and and also uh, this is a great library and which allows people to focus really focus on the business logic so with the uh, servant client there are only a few key steps to achieve this the first step is to model the JSON data with the Haskell uh, data structure. This we can do by the AESON library. The second step is to describe the API with servant client DSL. Here's an example. As you can see, this is almost a direct mapping between the URL and the servant DSL. Now we have one endpoint search. Here is the search endpoint. We have one query uh, queue, and the first query and the second is the API key, API key. And then it says that you're going to use the get HTTP method, and you're going to ask the server to return the JSON data format, and you're going to parse that result into this Haskell uh, data and hence it successfully bring the JSON into the Haskell world and then the next step is to uh, call the uh, uh, servant client function which is really magic you call this function on the guardian API and then you generate this uh, Haskell client function and then you can start using this uh, client function search with the query with the API key and then you get the result that's it so um, there's not much to it uh, here is the full program uh, that you can run um, maybe you can uh, type all the program and test it out yourself I'm going to of course uh, put this uh, uh, program online so you can uh, test it yourself so with that um, see you fellas next time